Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is C. Michelle and today we are going to be talking about my beauty travel essentials. I have quite a bit of things so a lot of this may be extra for some but for me this is normal due to the amount that I travel. Before we get started please give me a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to this channel. I would really appreciate it if you stuck around and subscribed. It really helps the growth of my channel and leave me a comment below letting me know if you use any of these items. Okay. So all of my beauty items fit in this bag. That's it. I'm not going to go into detail as to why I use them. I'm pretty much just going to run down the list of what I use and I'll link everything below in the description box. Okay. So it's not too much, but it's yeah, I guess quite a bit of things. Oh, and if you want to see my review on the bags that I use when I travel, I will iCart that above. It'll give you some really good ideas on how to pack and how to make your packing more efficient. I'm going to start with skincare. In the bag, I put another bag and I was trying to show you, but I didn't want stuff to fall out. So in the bag, I put, so all of my skincare goes in this one baggie right here and I'm just going to start running them off. So for face wash, I will either use my Dove soap or I will use detoxifying charcoal facial soap. It's great. So that is my cleanser. I typically do not tone. I haven't toned in years. I don't tone anymore. For moisturizer, I use black seed oil. And I talked all about this and how I cleared my adult acne video. I will eye card that above also if I notice that I'm a little bit drier than normal, which is rare but I like to keep my skin as moisturized as possible. I will use a gentle face cream. This is an all natural moisturizer. I do use an eye cream from time to time and this is just the hydrating eye cream. I really like them and it hydrates my skin a lot. Another thing that I may use at nighttime is the Clinique Smart Night. What is happening? And I really like this moisturizer and I notice when I use it sporadically, I maybe use it like once or twice a week, my skin looks really, really great in the morning. And then what I use to remove my makeup is the, right now, um, is the Clinique Take the Day Off makeup remover. It's my first time really trying this and I like it. If I don't have this, I'll just have some type of makeup remover wipe or a baby wipe I've been using. And then for my sunscreen, I use the Clarins SPF 50. Any think 50 or above nine times out of 10 I will use that so yeah that's all that was in this bag for my skincare but the only things that I will use daily no matter what is going to be the Dove soap and the black seed oil I keep the others just so I can have some options and depending on how my skin feels I want to make sure that I have what it needs so another skincare item that I bring with me is a little bit of the Aztec clay I love to have it with me and I bring a foundation brush that I only use for applying my mask and I even have like a small little dish but I just put a little bit of the clay in here some water and then I just mix it around and apply it to the skin and that's just something extra I have available in case I just feel like my skin is looking and feeling tired and dry and like it just needs a nice pick-me-up I'll have that with me if I need it and it's small and it's not taking up a lot of space in that bag all of this has been in that bag thus far. All right, you guys, so let's move over to makeup. So starting with primers, the only time I use a primer is if I feel like my pores are noticeable. Typically for every day, I do not wear a primer, but if I do wear a primer, it is going to be the Benefit Poreless Primer, the Benefit Pore Primer, whatever that name is, but that is rare. I do not wear that often and I don't even have it in the bag. So, mm. so for lips, I always have my Burt's Bees. I really like this one. This is the original one with vitamin E and peppermint. Actually, let me take that back. I don't know if that's the original one, but it doesn't have a fragrant scent like um, mango or pomegranate or one of those is pretty much focusing on nourishing the lips more than anything else. It's more of like I feel a treatment. I love the way it makes my lips feel. So what's the next? Foundation. NARS concealer mixed with the Becca Skin Love. I mix the two together to make my shade. One is a little too reddish orangish. This one is a little too yellow, but the two together makes a perfect combination. And that's what I have on right now. In case you're wondering of my shade, the Becca Skin Love is in amber, but it's still not the correct undertone for me. The 
other ones were off but this was the closest to it and I loved the finish so the um, I mix it with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Caramel and that works. Without that, I just use a Monde on its own and it, it's the perfect shade for like my forehead and my cheek area. Oh, and also to mention, this is the brush that I use to apply my foundation with. This is by Japanesque. And I'm not sure if Japanesque is still in business or not, but they make amazing products. But needless to say, I apply all of that with this brush. And if you haven't noticed, a lot of these products are like the miniature versions because I try to travel as light as possible. As far as setting powder, I have been liking, I got this as a sample um, for my Sephora gift or something or another. I've been using the Locket by Kat Von D translucent powder and it's really awesome. So what I use to apply my setting powder with is this angled brush by Japanesque. I really love this angled brush and it just kind of gets in the nooks and crannies and the areas that I need it to get in. So next let's move to my contour. For my contour I use the Gina NARS powder with a Japanesque brush and this is what it looks like. I've hit pans so I use it for sure. I apply this on my cheeks, forehead, and maybe sometimes my chin area. I love it and while we're in here I take this brush, which is like a shader brush right here, apply the darker shade for my crease color, and then I will take this fluffier brush right here and apply the lighter color as my lid shade. So as you can tell, a lot of my makeup I repurpose and I use for multiple things, and that also cuts down on what I'm carrying. For my highlight, I am using this Japanesque, and I love their packaging, the Japanesque Kumadori Highlighter in Rose Gold, and I use the Japanesque Japanesque brush to apply it. Let's be a little extra. Like this is a lot in person for me, but on camera, I'm sure it looks like really nice. So anywho, that's the color. I love it. It's a beautiful color on my skin. It's a rose gold color. These brushes, um, this doesn't have a number or anything like that, but I've recently seen them at TJ Maxx. So for blush, and I bring this blush instead of others because of how small it is. It's, it's perfect for use. Use this brush to apply it with. This is called Deep Throat by NARS. I love the color. It is perfect. Okay, so eyeliner. I typically do not wear eyeliner. So if I were to use it, in the sample that I got for my birthday, I got the Tattoo Liner by Kat Von D. And I really like it. I like the felt tip. It's really awesome and it's really dark. This is a waterproof liquid liner. I love it, it works great. I love the size of it. And I'm focusing on things that are small. I think about compactability and packing, weight, all of that. So all of this stuff, it's just, it just works, it flows. Mascara, I use the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. It's awesome. For lashes, right now I have on the Ardell 120 Demis. These are great. I always have a pair of lashes with me in case I'm going out or want to go out or want to be a little extra. Typically I'll just throw on some mascara and be perfectly fine. Brow. My brow gel oh, that I use by MAC and then I use my Nika K Beauty Supply Store brow pencil that I love. It matches my brow color perfectly and it's my jam. And again, these are both small. This has been sharpened down, but right now it looks like a miniature size. Last but not least, if I am somewhere where I am doing full glam and you know I need all of the steps, then I will bring my miniature Fix Plus. If you just need to set your makeup and you know kind of tie everything together, this is your go to. There are others, I just haven't tried them. So if you have any good recommendations of others of any of these products, please list them below in the comments. Let me know. All right, so the biggest thing for me is lips. I literally have all of these and then I have my bag right here that I keep with me in my purse with lips in it that are my main go-to lips because I am a lip girl so I will go through some of my favorites but I bring a lot of lips like this these are all of my lips I say about six about six of these stay in that clear bag that I showed you that stays in my purse but I'll show you what I have on right now I have on 
my NARS Morocco liner, with my Nanako Beauty Supply Store Lip Gloss in Hidden Desire. Oh, I don't have on that one. And then I have on my Wet and Wild 902C lipstick. Bring whatever you like to wear. I try to switch it up for each trip because, you know, I'm a lip girl. I love my lips. So now I'm gonna get into a few miscellaneous beauty products that I bring that fit within this category, and that is going to be my sharpener. I bring my NARS pencil sharpener for my lip liners or whatever I need to sharpen. I bring a pair of Little Caesars. Am I hungry? Am I thinking about pizza? I bring a pair of Little Scissors. I bring tweezers and my lash glue. And you guys, that's everything. That's everything in this little compact bag. I hope this helps somebody. I hope this gives you some ideas of what you can bring for yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it helps you on your traveling journey, safe travels wherever you're going. And please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, watch more videos, um, leave me a comment and let me know if there's anything you add to this list or some things that some alternative products or whatever. Let's just have a nice little dialogue in the comment section. I thank you for your time. I hope you guys have a great week. Stay tuned for more travel videos that I have in the series. Adios, besos. Oh, P.S. you guys, I have been doing a lot of experimenting with my hair. Like this is the best it's ever looked natural like ever. If you guys want a tutorial, um, please give me a big thumbs up on this video and let me know also below in the comments. Okay, for real this time. Adios, besos.